what is going on guys, your boy Sisu here bringing us a Photoshop tutorial on how to make your own custom 2D logo. Uh, this is pretty cool, uh, there's two different ways of, uh, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys with the pen tool which I have here, this tool right here, this little light bulb looking thing. So if you guys know about the pen tool, you probably, uh, you'll probably you get a little more familiar, I'm going to show you a couple things you can do, uh, along with a different way of doing it, like my designer friend Muck does it, he's freaking insane, uh, 2D logo designer, freelance and all that stuff like that. Uh, he made my logo, so I'm going to show you guys the way he does his. I got permission, so make sure you guys go in the description below and sub to him because he's freaking amazing. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's get going. Alright, so like I said, the pen tool. The pen tool is real simple and basic. Uh, I'm just going to show you the couple, like, you know, tweaks and stuff you can do with it. So, obviously, at first, uh, we can make a line. That's just us clicking and then, you know, letting go. And if we click and then move, we can have these little curves. Along with if you hold control and you click in this little circle over here, you can actually make some like more controlled curves, like it's not too hard to control uh, if you just make the new point. Uh, stuff like this. Uh, along with, let's say if you didn't want to curve, oh wait, let me, let me go back. Let's just say if you had these connected, right? Uh, let's just make a curve for my next example. Let's just say you had it connected <clears throat> and you were saying to yourself like I want to move this point down a little bit or I'm going to move this point over a little bit. Uh, if you hold control, and it's already closed up and all that stuff, you feel like you can't, you know, change the points or whatever. If you hold control and you click somewhere along this path, uh, all the points will pop back up. There's a freaking plane flying over my damn house. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, like I said, when you hold control, all the points will pop up when you click on the uh, line somewhere. And uh, if you hold control still and you select the point, the, the point will be selected and you're able to move the point while still holding control uh, freely without moving any of the other points. Along with, you know, if you hold control and shift and click on another point. Uh, two points can be moved at the same time, so it's like really, you know, just tedious work when you're doing your own 2D logo. Along with you can add points, so like you see right here, there's like no point here, and like you can see the the, the pen tool's little plus sign there. If I click, it'll add a point. And uh, since first of all this is like uh, a line already, and you're just adding a point here, and if you're moving it, it's going to be a curve at first. And if you don't want a curve, you can hold Alt and then select the point, and it'll turn it back to straight. You can do it with uh, already made curves. So like I said over here. I have a curve here, so if I click on the point with the control, hold Alt, click, boom, it goes back to regular old straight lines. It's not going to be curved. So uh, that's basically what you need to do or you know know when you're doing your own 2D you know logo and stuff like that. Along with like uh, let's say if you were to have uh, like a shape here, you, know, you want to like duplicate it so you can uh, move it and make it like uh, how do you say like uh, what is symmetrical? I don't know what the freaking word I'm looking for is. But if you hold control and you click, and if you hold control and alt, and then select the point, it'll select all the points. And while still holding control and alt, uh, if you move it, it'll duplicate the path. So you can actually, you know, flip it horizontal. If you go to file or no edit, uh, transform path, and then flip horizontal, <clears throat> this will flip it so it's like the same exact on the other side. And that's how you get that like you know, same thing on both sides effect. You know, when people you see their designer logos like that all the time. So yeah, that's how you do it. So I'm just gonna quickly just uh, show you how you fill it in and stuff like that so you can like customize it and stuff like so so if I just like let's say I just came up with like and uh, if you hold shift and you click like down I'll make like really straight points like you see here I'm holding shift and um, I'm not gonna hold shift here I'm gonna click here and if I click and hold shift you can actually see how straight it is in that time so uh, yeah so if you wanna make straight lines going you know downward uh, along with you press control R your rules will pop up that's what these numbers are right here so if I were to click some on the ruler and moved it over, uh, this would be a ruler, and you can actually see how perfectly straight it is, and uh, you know stuff like that. And if you hold control, you actually move the ruler while you already placed it. So holding control is like your best bet. I'm just gonna delete this, or or not. We're, we're gonna just backspace with the control LZ, and uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna do something like this, right, right. And I'm gonna say to myself, I don't want this here, so I'm gonna you hold control, click on the path somewhere, select the point, and move it. And along with this one, I'm going to hold control and shift and move these two. And then I'm going to hold control again and do something like that. And let's just say this is like a really cool shape or something like that, right? Uh, obviously, you can have either one shape, like one seriously like cool shape or something. And uh, if you just want to duplicate it like I'm about to do right now, as soon as I like, kind of tidy this up. I don't know. And this doesn't need to be perfect. It's just an example. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> like I said, control alt. I selected all of them. I just moved it. And I'm going to hold control alt again. Just drag. And then I'm gonna go to file or edit, flip horizontal, and then I'm just gonna move them right near each other like so. I'm using my arrow key so I can do it nice. I go like that, and I'm gonna Control Alt, click for both. And this needs to move up a little bit more. You can see how these points are not matched up. 
Uh, I'm just going to go like this and just boom, boom, boom. There we go. So let's just say this is like super cool and whatnot. <clears throat> Jeez, my voice is like all oh, fucked up. Uh, yeah, so I'm making a new layer, and I, once you're done with your path, <clears throat> if you right click and go to fill path, and then if you go to use, drop down use, and go to color, you can select any color, you press OK, and then you're all set, and then you have your, uh, you know, your, your, what you made, your logo, what you made. So yeah, uh, you can do more stuff, you can add more, you know, like shapes like so, like if I just wanted to add something cool on the top or something. Like this. Oh, if that happens to you, that means you have to hold Alt and then click on the following thing again so it knows to start there. Uh, you can see how that just happened to me. Uh, let's just go like this and something like that. And let's just say we wanted to add like more. You can just make a new layer, right click, oops, make a new layer, right click, fill path, use the same color. And uh, yeah, what your path is, what the path, when you're doing right click, you know, fill path. Uh, if you go to your path, so you can see work path here. Uh, your work path is basically what the. Uh, like you see how that happened if I, I I overwrit my this little path right here so if you want to go back you can go back and if you want to add more stuff make sure you click this right here new path so that actually has both of them and then later on you're gonna have to like you know when you put it in cinema 4d and stuff like that you don't have to have trouble of having to retrace the whole entire thing over so I'm just gonna backspace real quick alright see this work path that's what exactly what we did here uh, so let's say you're done with your logo and this looks cool like that. You have your 2D logo, but then you want to put your logo inside Cinema 4D. All you have to do is go to uh, File, Export, and then Path to Illustrator. So you're going to need your pen tooling. Uh, let's just say, uh, for example, oh, let me just finish this off. I go to Path, Export, uh, Path to Illustrator. You click OK, and you name it whatever. It's going to be an AI file. Same thing as like logos and stuff when you put in Cinema 4D with your like favorite clan or whatever. So yeah, that's that, but there's another way, so let's just say, like if you didn't have the path, let's say you just didn't care, and you just deleted it, because you deleted it, if you press W on your keyboard, like so, this little magic wand thing comes down, it's the fourth one down, it's called magic wand, if you click that, and then you click on your layer, where your thing is, and if you hold shift, if you have like two spaces, or two like, you know, shapes or whatever, you hold shift to uh, add another one, and click it again, and if you go to right click, and then go to make work path, and you press OK, uh, if you go back to your paths, your path is actually going to be there without it, you know, having you done the pen tooling or whatever. It's going to be a little bit weird and you got to, like, touch it up by just doing that control thing and start, like, deleting some of the points so it can be more straight and uh, stuff like that. And, yeah, so that's, like, a little more tedious work. That's just in case you do it the second way. I'm going to show you guys how to do logos now the way my friend Muck does it. So let's get it fast. Get away. All right. So let's just say we delete this. And I'm going to show you the way he does it. He does it with, like, circles. It's a really cool style. I want you guys to copy it. But I want you guys to like take note that you can actually do it and then like combine it with the pen tool logo and stuff like that. So if I were to go over here, right, and if I were to click on the ellipse circle or the ellipse tool, and if I just make like a really quick T with the the uh, rulers, control R, and I did something like this, right? And let's just I don't know exactly. Uh, it's gonna bug me. All right, so let's just say I have this ellipse tool and I wanted to make a circle, so I'm just gonna make a circle. Something like this. It's not the perfect freaking. It's not perfectly in the middle. All right. But when you're doing this, you want to do it perfect. So I'm just gonna uh, double click on this. So change the color. I'm gonna change it to white for now. Press OK. And uh, right click, make editable. Uh, not make editable. It's totally different. Rasterize layer. We'll get rid of all this, you know, unnecessary stuff. Just make sure you do that. Cause the next thing you're gonna do, if you go to the cut tools, like this is like your cut tools. Uh, I don't know. It's called marquee tool. So if I go to the ellipse, uh, elliptical marquee tool, whatever. What this will do, if I just click. And drag and make like a really nice, you know, okay size circle. I put it like in the middle. If I press delete on my keyboard, it'll actually delete whatever uh, was on my layer. And you know, you can just mess around with this more and more. Uh, the way he does this is really talented. You know, you can actually use this as a cut, like I said. So if I went to the the rectangle tool and I'm gonna go over here, right, and I'll just like cut off like half of this, like this, how I did it. If I want to right click copy, it'll copy that part only. So I can actually move this down. And then, like, you know, have this here so I can just erase this on this side, this on that side, and I can start off with a new logo like that. Uh, the way he does it is just super sweet and cool and original. So, if you guys want to, like, you know, give him props for that, like I said, his link in the description so you can go, you know, like the crap out of all his videos and stuff like that and sub to him because he does it really cool. So, you can, you know, take this kind of idea and uh, use it as your own and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, this video's been going long enough. I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty excited to go into your Photoshops and go do your own 2D uh, logo and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and my voice wasn't too annoying for you. So, I'll see you guys later. So, switch you out. Peace.